the good life full of fun seems to be the eye <laughs> hey guys welcome to my kitchen another big day in my kitchen today's an exciting day today's gonna be a fun day today's kind of like party italiano day so i want to share with you a uh a recipe for limoncello. Now this uh, recipe from limoncello is from the Amalfi Coast with a little bit of Sicily mixed in. So it's uh, it's delicious, it's simple, it's fun. Uh, I love limoncello uh, when, I, when I experience it in Italy if you're on the coast, uh, which we are down in the Puglia region and it's one of those hot summer days and you just finish and you're maybe in Pescaci and and uh, you finish your dinner and they'll bring you coffee, you'll have a little dessert and then after that they always have their own homemade limoncello. Every restaurant owned by any mom, dad, whatever is always going to have their own limoncello. And there's several uh, grandmothers in the in the village and they make their own version of limoncello. So kind of taking what I love and uh, meet with some real experts and masters on limoncello, I want to share with you uh, just a wonderful recipe for limoncello. So, so that being said, I'm going to go over the ingredients. This is quick, it's fun. Uh, it takes about a month, so this only takes a few minutes. You're going to let this thing set for about a month. And then it gets really easy after that. And I'll show you that section as well because I already made one a month ago. So, all right? So what do we need? You're gonna need about 10 lemons. Now, what I did with these lemons, so we're really clear, when you buy a lemon, you're gonna see these are dull. And why is that? Because uh, any lemons, when they're produced, they're covered with a beeswax for protection. Uh, so what you wanna do is you wanna get some really hot water and you're basically gonna flash it. You don't wanna let it set in there and cook, but you're gonna take a little soap, a little something that's like a soft, maybe just slightly uh, mild abrasive, and you're just gonna scrub it with a little hot water. And that'll just get rid of the beeswax so it opens up the, the lemon rind, which is where you're gonna extract that beautiful lemon flavor from. So we want 10 large lemons, okay? We're gonna want one bottle. Ideally, ideally is what you want is pure grain alcohol. You're gonna want an Everclear. So I got this from my buddy Hans up there at McKinnon Liquors up in Casanova, who's absolutely one of my uh, favorite little guys. He's also an expert on uh, wines and different types of alcohol. But this is this is really ideal. The reason being is if you use like a, another clear, let's say like a vodka or even a gin, there's a flavor that they have that's often picked up and it, uh, it, it takes away a little bit from that purest uh, version of limoncello. But I mean, a triple distilled uh, vodka will work, but pure grain is the way to go, okay? So we've got one liter, it's about 750 milliliters, so it's just shy of a liter of pure grain alcohol, okay? Obviously we're gonna be having some fun. 10 lemons cleaned, okay, so the wax is off. And then we're gonna use honey. Now, uh, honey's a little bit sweeter than regular sugar uh, by about 25%. So what you're gonna wanna do in, uh, in this case is you're gonna wanna use about a cup and a half of pure filtered honey. Pure organic filtered honey would be the way to go. Uh, if you don't like honey or your, your somebody says, I don't, I don't wanna use honey uh, for whatever reason, then you're gonna use two cups of sugar. Uh, and then you're gonna make a simple, you'll make a simple sugar. And I'll show you how to do that at the second part of this, okay? But what you'll find in a lot of old areas of Italy, they used honey because honey was very readily, readily available. Uh, pure grain sugar wasn't. So a lot of those poor sections, they didn't have access to sugar cane. So you'll find a lot of the original authentic versions of limoncello are actually made with honey. So that's gonna be delicious. So, so let's get started. Real easy, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a lemon, okay, and I'm gonna move this out of our view here. You're gonna take a lemon and you're gonna take a peeler, okay? And what you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to peel the lemon so that you're not picking up the yellow. So, uh, I'm sorry, the white. So let me show you. When I peel that, you see how both sides of it are essentially yellow, okay? And I'm gonna zoom in here for you really quick. So you'll see right here, you see how nice it's got a nice beautiful lemon color? I'll tell you the smell of that is absolutely delicious. But you see how it's yellow on both sides? And you see the, the rind will start to pick up and that's white. So the rind is bitter. So if you get too much of the rind in there, like this, you're gonna pick up some bitter flavor within your limoncello. So you wanna go real faint with the, with the rind. You wanna pull just the top layer of the skin off, like I did here. See how that's yellow on both sides? And that's really gonna ensure that you have a beautiful flavor within your limoncello. So that's the trick. So if you're around a bunch of uh, of the masters, the old timers, when you're making limoncello, they'll start freaking out if you get any of the white of the of the lemon uh, in there. So your lemon skin, you want just that outside. See how nice and beautiful that is? You get really good at it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and peel these. 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel all 10 lemons and I'm gonna put all that in a jar. So I'm gonna put that right in the jar. So I'm gonna put all the lemon skins that I peeled right inside here and then we're gonna fill it with pure grain, right? And then there's a little bit of another magic trick I'm gonna show you and then we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna let a month go by and then we're gonna show you how you finish it up and put it in the freezer and make your own homemade limoncello just like they do in Amalfi or Sicily. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. All right guys, here we go. So I've got my 10 lemons, right? I've got my jar. I gotta tell you the smell. Oh my God, that smells. So there's all my lemon rinds, right? So you're gonna throw that in to your jar. I've got more magic coming, so hold on. I have not had any limoncello yet. I just wanna tell you guys, I swear on the honor of Italy, I have not, okay? So now I've got, I wanna get all my little pieces of rind in there. So I've got all my rind in there, and that's beautiful, right? So one of the tricks that I've learned from the masters in Italy is you're gonna take your lemon, okay, I'm gonna cut the lemon in half, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the juice of the lemon, right, and I'm gonna put that right inside, right inside. You don't want the seeds, because any of the seeds will make it bitter, okay? So you're just gonna take the lemon juice. Now what some people do is they take the lemon juice and they use that rather than water, so you never wanna dilute flavor, right? So they're gonna take that at the end and mix it with sugar to make the simple syrup. That's another way to do it. I don't do that it way um, because then you're wasting another you're wasting another group of lemons. So the way that it was taught to me by the masters is you just take the lemon. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take these 10 lemons, I'm gonna take all the juice of the 10 lemons and I'm gonna put them right in that jar. See that? So I'm just popping them right in that jar. And guys, when I'm done with that, what I'm gonna do is add our Everclear and then we're gonna let the magic of time and a month go by and all of those oils and all of those flavors are gonna basically infuse with each other and marry with each other. And then we're gonna add our other final ingredients and I'll tell you what, it's gonna be absolutely delicious. I'll talk to you guys in a couple minutes. All right guys, so I've got my lemon rinds, my lemon juice, all these poor little lemons, right? Oh, that smells good. And now we're gonna take our pure grain, real simple. And we're just gonna pour that in there. And essentially it's a solvent, so you've got your alcohol, but it's so pure, what it does is it infuses the flavor of the alcohol. So the oils um, uh, from the lemon rind will actually uh, marry itself with the, uh, with the alcohol. And because of the alcohol content, it acts, like I said, as a solvent, so it extracts and infuses those flavors. Plus, we've got the lemon juice in there. So a lot of times, the simple syrup uh, that'll be made with sugar, if you use sugar rather than the, uh, than the honey, or you'll see some people say, uh, make a simple syrup when you add it to this thing in a month. Uh, we've already added all that juice, so you don't need to add water. We're just gonna add the sweetener right to the, to the limoncello. And that's essentially it. We're gonna seal this puppy up. I got a little bit of a mess here, but that's all right. I'm gonna clean up and we're gonna give it a good shake. And then what I do is you don't wanna leave it in direct sunlight. You're gonna leave it there for probably, oh, what? A month, every day I give it a shake. A month will go by and then within a month, they'll say anywhere, so two weeks, the longer you leave it in there, the deeper the lemon flavor. But I always like to leave it for about four weeks. And then after four weeks, we add the sweetener and I'll throw it in the freezer and then we'll add a little magic to it. I'll talk to you guys in four weeks. Hey guys, it's been a month. It hasn't been a month. All right, Magic of TV. So I put this, this has been a little over a month. So it's February 6th, so it's been just over a month. And I've got this baby, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So I got all those flavors infused in there. It's gonna be fantastic. So I got another jar that I'm gonna use. So what I like to do is I just take a piece of cheesecloth and I get it so it's got a nice little depth in there, okay? As deep as I can get it, okay? and then just make sure there's no holes in there. You can take a rubber band. I got a piece of twine here. I couldn't grab a rubber band today. And, and then you're just gonna put it right in there, right? And this is so, this is so old school Italy right here. So, so it's kind of fun to do it that way, right? So, so I got a nice cheesecloth in there. I've got the band in there. And then what I'm gonna essentially do, which you guys already know what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna pour this. And you gotta watch it, because that pure grain will, whoo, that's good. That's lemon and love right there. And then just nice and gentle, you're gonna have to take some of the rinds out here a little bit, but, and just pour it right through. Now what's nice about the cheesecloth, 
is you can squeeze the rest of the juice out. This is why I like it. So, so you, when you're on a lot of the old timers in there, they'll pour it from one jar into another. And then, like I said, with that cheesecloth, you'll have all the rinds in there. You give it a good squeeze, you get everything out, and then you just discard it. So it's great. A lot of times if you've got an organic garden or you got a compost, you can throw it right in your compost. And uh, so we're just going to let this filter through. All right, guys, so I'm right here at the end, and you're seeing those rinds. I'll tell you, one little, I mean, a month will suffice, but once you're right there at the end, you're going to see when you grab the rinds. Now look at that. There's no yellow left, really. You see how they're, they're very bland? They're not quite white, but almost. So you know that essentially everything in there, the oils and the flavor, are extracted. And they're almost, I don't want to say crispy, but they're almost there. They're not, they're not like that soft, pliable rind anymore. So you've essentially extracted everything you want right out of those rinds, right? What the nanas will do is they'll take that last bit, those rinds, right? And these are pretty dry, I have to say. Look at all that. Isn't that beautiful? So there's all the flavors and all the flavors we added. And, and again, sometimes they've seen them add, you can add different herbs or whatever, but there's not, you can tell on this one, there's not a whole lot left. So then they add that rest of the cheesecloth and then they just give it to that last final squeeze. Just to grab any, there you go, you see that? Just to grab any last bit of flavor from the lemon. All right, I'm all cleaned up. And that's basically our lemon chell. So we've got the juice of the lemon, it's been sitting there for a month, right? And all the rinds, and now we just gotta add our sweetener. So again, we're doing old school, uh, old school diddly way here. So we're gonna add our honey. And real simple. I'm just going to dump that in. Again, if you guys want to use sugar, it's no problem. You're going to use two cups of sugar. In this case, like I said, we're going to use a cup and a half of honey. Now, that's got to mix, right? So, real simple, you got this jar. Make sure my hands are dry so I don't have an accident and I'll smell like lemon for a month, right? So, that's all sealed. And then, you're going to see it's going to take on just a little bit of a darker, just a little color. It's uh, funny, in the Old Italy, a few times I had Lemoncello made with grappa, Ooh, not good, but you know, you make it with anything you can get. So, grappa is made from the stems and skins of uh, fermented uh, uh, stems and skins from uh, grape. So, uh, you know, they would use that a lot of times, and you make alcohol with whatever you got, right? So, we'll give this a good shake, and essentially, that's it. Now, what I always like to do is I always like to set this for about a week in time and then I'll throw it right in the freezer. So I'll let it set before I freeze it and then I'll set it right in the freezer. And then once you do that again, the, the sugars, everything marries, it gets nice and cold. Whew, tastes good. It's good for a cold, it's good for a flu, it's good for a day if you got a chill, it's great for a day if it's uh, sunny and hot and you wanna just have a nice cool uh, drink. And it's certainly, uh, like I said, uh, traditional in just about anywhere you go to Italy, everybody makes their own limoncello and it's just a, it's a very nice gesture and offering of something and it says, you're my friend of friendship, and uh, it's an absolutely phenomenal way to end a great dinner, no doubt. Helps you with the digestion, as my grandmother used to say. So we're going to let this set for a week. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. All right, guys, it's been about a week, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that up. And this is a great way to serve it. Sometimes you can come up with your own little label, whatever. These are great little uh, jars that you can store it in your house, in the freezer with, or uh, they make great gifts, you know, so certainly for the holidays or a birthday or what have you. So we're essentially gonna put that in there, right? And then we're gonna, we're gonna pour it right in. Doesn't that look beautiful? Look at the color. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? So I got two of these. So we're gonna pop them in, right? Woo! That is good. And then what we're gonna do is seal it up, right? And then we're just gonna throw that right in the freezer. So I'll set that in the freezer for at least a day. It's been setting for a week already. And then after that, my favorite part, guys, is tasting it. I'll talk to you guys in a couple minutes. All right, guys, you ready? It's salute day time. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit. Gotta do some things with the kids later, so. All right, so this is nice and chilled. And we're just gonna set that off to the side. Woo! That'll make you Italian if you're not Italian. So that's just beautiful. I mean, the, the smell of lemon just comes right off of there. It's fantastic. Traditionally, it's served in almost like a brandy glass, a cognac glass. If you can, I mean, a lot of times they'll do it in shot glasses. And if you don't have anything left, they'll take a few plastic glasses to do some shots of that. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. Mm. Oh, that's good. 
brings you right back to old Italy, I'll tell you, the flavor of that. And you can still feel it. You know, you get a little bit of the bite of the alcohol, but after that, all you're doing is just getting hit with that constant lemon flavor. It just totally infuses your mouth. Oh my God, absolutely delicious. Mm. And that's always helps you digest. My grandmother used to say, oh, it helps me, it helps me digest. Uh, Absolutely great recipe right from the hills of the Amalfi Coast or Sicily or right in Puglia and all the limoncello masters. So from my table to yours, guys, spend some time with your family, share your heritage, certainly set some new traditions. Until next week, guys, bon appetito. The good life.